Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at chords of a circle. And just to remind you what a chord of a circle is, a chord is a line that joins any two points on a circle. So this line is a chord. Similarly, this line here is a chord. And I agree that this is the diameter. So a diameter is a chord, so, but this chord is not necessarily a diameter. So it's really an important distinction. Diameters are definitely chords, but chords are not necessarily diameters. The, oops, I want the rubber. So looking at the question then, find the points of intersection of the line and the circle. So we want to find, if we have a circle and a line, and it says points, plural, of intersection. So I'm looking for this point here, A, and this point here, B. So similar to um, lines, how to find the point of intersection of lines, we would use simultaneous equations. Similarly here, we use simultaneous equations as well. You might remember from algebra then that we have two types of equations here. We have a linear, linear and a nonlinear. So the approach that we use is to isolate a variable in the linear equation. and sub this in into the nonlinear. So what variable would I isolate in equation one? I think you'd all agree that x is definitely the easier of the two variables to isolate. So this is from equation one, I have isolated the variable and I'm gonna sub that into equation two. So I'm getting equation two Wherever there is an x, I'm subbing in one minus two y. So one minus two y squared plus y squared plus two x, no, nope, plus two by one minus two y plus eight minus eight is equal to zero. I multiply it out, so it's one by one is one, one by minus two y is minus two y, minus two y by one is minus two y, so I'm getting minus four y. Minus by minus is plus, two by two is four, y by y is y squared, plus y squared, plus two, minus four y, plus eight y, plus eight y should be here, plus eight y minus eight is equal to zero. And we're quite happy at this point because now there is only one variable. The variable is y, so I have five y squared, um, and actually even nicer, I have no y, uh, and I have a one, two, and a minus eight. So it's bringing us to minus five is equal to zero. Now you might get a, a longer quadratic equation, one with a, b, and c, and you just solve that in the normal way. Uh, five y squared is equal to five, y squared is equal to one. y is equal to the square root of one, but remember that's plus and minus one. y is equal to one. y is equal to minus one. Why must I have two answers? Because remember, we're looking for two points. We're looking for an A and a B. So I have found y is minus one and y is plus one points. So I'm not just looking for the, not just looking for the y coordinates, I'm also looking for the x coordinates. And because we've already isolated x, it's really easy to find that. So x is equal to, so when y is equal to one, x is equal to one minus two by one, x is equal to minus one. So the point is minus one, one. And the other point is y is equal to minus one. We're getting x one minus two by minus one, x is equal to three, and the point is three minus one. And there are two points the points of intersection between a circle and a line. So to remind you, you have a linear and a nonlinear 
So isolate a variable in the linear and then sub it into the nonlinear. In this one, we do a similar, the exact same thing, except it says find the points of intersection of the line 2x minus y plus 8 is equal to 0 and the circle x squared plus y squared plus 4x plus 2y is equal to 0 and hence show that the line is tangent to the circle. So remember, if a line is a tangent to a circle, it hits the circle at one point only. So we should get one answer, as in the two points that we find will end up being the same thing, same point. So from the linear, what's the easiest variable to isolate? Be y, so y is equal to 2x plus 8, and we're going to sub that in anywhere where there is a y into the question. So we're getting x squared plus 2x plus 8 squared plus 4x plus 2 by 2x plus 8 is equal to 0. Multiply that out. x squared plus 2x by 2x is 4x squared. 2x by 8 is 16x. 8 by 2x is 16x, so it's 32x. Plus 64 plus 4x plus... 4x again, plus 16 is equal to 0. Quadratic equation, brilliant. 5x squared plus 40x plus, uh, what is it, 80? 80 is equal to 0. x squared, divide everything by 5. x squared plus uh, 8x plus 16 is equal to 0 x minus 4, x minus 4, sorry, x plus 4 and x plus 4 is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 4, x is equal to minus 4, it's not a 4, so there's only one answer here for the x's, so we can just use the x plus 4 and the x plus 4, well, or x equal to minus 4 and x equal to minus 4, and then we're using the y here, y is equal to 2, by minus 4 plus 8, y is equal to 0. So our point is minus 4, 0 is the point of contact. Contact. Both points are the same. Both points of intercept are the same. Therefore, the line. 2x minus y plus 8 equals 0 is a tangent. Okay, this is a very, very similar question. Find the length of the intercept, the circle, x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 0 makes with the x-axis. So obviously there's a circle and there's a line coming across here. And they want us to find the length of the intercept. So they want to find distance from here to here. I know the equation of this circle is x squared plus y squared minus 10x plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 0. Do I know the equation of this horizontal line? Let's think of some points that are on it. I know 0, 0. Now, it might be, I don't know if this is on the positive side or not, but I'm just doing these as an example. I know 0, 0. I know 1, 0. I know 7, 0. I know 9, 0. What do all of those four points have in common? y is equal to 0 in all of them. And that y is equal to 0 is actually the equation of the... Um, x axis that y is equal to zero so horizontal lines all follow the pattern that their equations are y is equal to and whatever the number is that's associated with them where they cross the y axis but y is equal to zero um is that so that's really useful now if i want to find the point of intersection between this line 
and that because y is equal to zero is an actual equation y is equal to zero so again i can sub in zero in for all the y's and i'd get x squared plus zero squared so it'd just be zero minus 10x plus eight by zero which would be zero plus 16 is equal to zero and i need to solve that quadratic equation so x minus eight x minus two using the guide number or you could use the minus b formula if you want x is equal to eight and x is equal to two so i can tell you that this point is two zero because it's on the y x x axis and this is eight zero so how long is that yellow line the length of the intercept intercept is 8 minus 2 which is equal to 6 if it says it hits the x-axis the x-axis again the equation for that is y is equal to 0 for the y-axis the equation for that is x is equal to 0 I'm aware that 0 looks like a 6 up there 0 similar to that question what if they gave you a circle and a line that was not uh, an axis so they've given you the equation of a circle and the equation of a line and they repeat the question how long is the intercept they want you to find the length of the intercept between a circle and that line so from the first two questions in this video could you find those two points A and B. If you can find those two points A and B where the circle and the line would hit each other you would then use the distance formula. Okay. This question is really really easy. So they give you two circles now it says find the equation of the common chord of the two circles because it's a common chord that implies that the two circles hit each other a common chord this is what a common chord looks like there okay that's the common chord that the two circles hit each other we have one circle and we have a second circle and the way we do this to find the equation of that common chord and that line will actually go on for forever is that we have equation one and we'll go x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 2y plus 4 is equal to 0 and we have equation two and we multiply equation two by minus one so we're getting minus x squared minus y squared that's not a y minus y squared minus 2x plus 4y plus 6 is equal to 0 x squared minus x squared is 0 y squared minus y squared is 0 6x minus, minus 6x minus 2x is minus 8x 2y plus 4y is 6y 4 plus 6 is 10 is equal to 0 and this is the equation of the common chord common chord oops yeah common chord um, look, good habit to probably just change that to 8x minus 6y minus 10 is equal to 0. I've just multiplied everything in it by minus 1, but that's totally acceptable. Uh, where this question could also uh, come in handy is it might ask you to find the points of intersection. And it definitely is an exam question. What if they said find the points of intersection between this circle and this circle? So you do exactly what we just did. You would find the equation of that green line by taking the two of them away from each other. Then you would imagine that you delete one of the circles and you find that point and that point. How could you find where a circle and a line hit each other? Just like the previous three questions, you do simultaneous equations between the circle and the line and you would find 
the two points where they hit each other. So you'd isolate a variable in the linear and sub it back into the circle then. And I'm gonna reinstate that circle. There and there. Another time this might be useful, it mightn't say common chord. What if it said common tangent? What if the question said common tangent? That would be one of two cases. Either the two circles hit each other externally or they hit each other internally. So this is an external situation and we'll talk about that in the next video. But the common tangent is this line, there, that purple line, and you just repeat the same process. You'd take equation one and you would subtract equation two. And the common tangent in this scenario looks like this. It's just then hitting it externally, where this one, it divides it in two. Very, very useful in exam questions, this, to be honest, um, this, this sort of logic. So to just run you through a few of the questions, what about this one? The circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 11y minus 12 meets the positive x-axis. Brilliant. What's the equation for the x-axis? It's y is equal to 0 at the point a0. Look at that. y is equal to 0. And the y-axis, and that's going to be x is equal to 0. So that links up there. So you do two scenarios, you say y is equal to zero, so you'd get x squared minus 4x minus 12 is equal to zero. You'd get x minus 6, x plus 2 is equal to zero, x is equal to 6, x is equal to minus 2. And what links up? This is where it hits the x-axis, so we're saying x is equal to 6 for the positive sense. So small a is equal to 6. And then you do a very similar thing. You'd say where it hits the x-axis, I'll do this in or hits the y-axis, I'll do this in green. The y-axis is x is equal to 0. So we're getting y squared plus 11y minus 12 is equal to 0. y my, minus 1. y plus 12 is equal to 0, y is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 12, and it hits the positive y-axis at y is equal to 1, so that means small b is equal to 1. This was what I was talking about earlier on. Find the equation of the common chord. So the common chord is found very easily by taking the two of them away from each other, x squared plus y squared minus 3x plus 5y minus 4 is equal to 0. That's equation 1. Equation 2. We are getting, taking away equation 2. So equation 2 times minus 1 times minus 1. We're getting minus x squared minus y squared plus x minus 4y plus 7 is equal to 0. We're getting minus 2x plus 1y plus 3 is equal to 0. That's 2x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. We'll call that equation 3. That's the common chord found. Common chord found. So now, draw a little picture of what you've got. You've got oh, two circles sort of overlapping. We've got a chord going through the middle of them. And now they want us to find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the two circles. Well, what I said was just Imagine you're deleting one of the circles, and now you want to find those two points there. How do you find those two points? You isolate a variable in the linear. In 3, the linear. And sub it, it into the nonlinear. And it doesn't matter if you choose equation one or equation two. If you chose equation one, you'd be finding the points in this case. If you chose equation two to sub it into, you would be finding those two red points. But what about those two red points? They're on both circles because again, reminding you, they're the coordinates of the points of intersection of the two circles. 
Okay, I'm gonna leave the video there. Um, really worthwhile spending time going through the examples, taking down the examples and having a go with the questions yourself. Hopefully you found the video useful.